As the world celebrated the International Women's Day, we turn our focus on one of the Kenyan women who has done exemplary on the global map, Phyllis Omido, an environmental activist recently won the Laureate Award, similar to the one won by late Wangari Mathai. This is because of the role she played on fighting for the Owino Uhuru slum dwellers in Mombasa of a lead poison plant. Threats from government officials did not deter her until the plant was closed down. Currently, she is also fighting for Uyombo villagers concerning a nuclear plant. Tobias Chanji with that report. Phyllis Omido hit the headlines in 2012 when she led demonstrations after discovering the Uyombo Uhuru community in Mombasa was suffering from lead poisoning because of battery smelting plant in the area. She had been hired by the factory in 2009 to head its human source. Many of you have seen, have covered this case. Sometimes at the mortuary when children died or women died, you have covered this case through the years. She sued the state and non-state agencies on behalf of over 3,000 community members and won the case. A compensation of 1.3 billion shillings was awarded, although the government appealed. It does not make sense. It's corruption in a way. It's corruption that is entrenched in our court, in our court systems. They are, they are deliberately doing this to deny these people and to create avenues for government um, state agencies to eat from this case. And in November 2023, Omido won the prestigious Laureate Award in a colorful event in the heart of Stockholm, Sweden's capital. Though she accidentally ventured into activism, Omido has been described as a role model to many young women. Looking at the life of Wangari Maasai and looking at my life is a very lonely life in Kenya. We are criminalized, we are charged in courts, we are harassed by the police for actually demanding that Kenya does what is right by the people and by the environment. We are only holding the environment in custody for future generations. Sometimes it's not so bad to also look at it from afar, because I think from afar you see that the work of um, Phyllis Omido is about the universal right to a clean and healthy environment. It's about people's grievances when it comes to their land and to their health. Currently, she has embarked on another journey down at Uyombo village, Matsangoni Ward, Kilifi County, where the government wants to put a nuclear plant. She says she is already receiving threats. Uyombo lies beneath a UNESCO biosphere, meaning it's, it's a biodiversity hotspot. It's an area that, if left just as it is, brings in a lot of foreign exchange for this country. It brings a lot of jobs for our people. That area has beautiful marine life. It has dolphins, it has turtles. One of the only places you can find dolphins in Kenya. Very few places you can find dolphins in Kenya. So we are opposed to the location of the nuclear power plant. Tobias Chanji, KT News. Thank you, Chanji, for that report. Now, senators have reprimanded Governor of Isiola.